number of ways you could remedy this. You could paint it, um, you know, clean it up. Uh, could use some uh, epoxy appliance, touch up paint, and brush it again. Uh, but this is how you can replace it. Okay, so I got a nice simple one. Just a bunch of paint on this handle here. What I'm going to do is be close in the handle. I have a nice little kit here. 840775 is HP supply number for it. Uh, but all I need is patio handle here, just a slightly different style. It's just got two screws that, that pass through. I'll just be reusing the old screws. There's the handle there. And if I remember right, the handle's actually majorly scratched underneath, so normally I'd say just clean the paint off, but it is what it is on this one. On the back side here is our handle deal. And this should actually be set this way so that there's a groove part once the door is closed. I'll show you that a little bit better should be this way it was actually upside down it's better for it to be this way so that a person can get their fingers in there a lot easier anyway this just sets into the screw holes so we'll just change our screws here nice and easy And again, we're going to put this steel this way, and that will make it much better. So now we'll pass our screw holes through. There's an option for adding a keyed entry to these. You can check my video on adding a keyed entry to a patio slider. You just pull out this little plug here, and then the, the key hole goes through here. But anyway, now you can see our screws going through. Just going to line those up. Nice and easy. And it's a good idea to get one of the screws started first. Get a few threads going there. And then get the next one in because sometimes lining these up can be a little bit tricky. But there it is. And now we'll tighten things up. Nice easy one. Okay. Yeah, now we'll test it out, make sure everything works good. There we go. Nice new door lock. Nice and easy. A lot of times it's better to just reuse the old screws because sometimes the screws that they send it with don't actually match up. If you have to cut the screws down, what you want to do is thread a bolt on the screw end first, far enough to where you want to cut it down, cut it off, and then undo your bolt. And then you can use the, the screws that you've trimmed down. Uh, what it'll do is re-straighten the threads. By putting the bolt on first, then making your cut, it'll, it'll bend the threads so you wouldn't be able to put a bolt on. But when you unthread your, your bolt, That'll re-straighten the threads so that you can use your bolt trim to whatever size you need it to. Anyway, that's replacing a patio slider handle. Good to go. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out.